I mentioned in a previous video that I wanted to make a set of arrows uh, with points of this type. Uh, these are Scalorn points. I did make a few uh, last week. I think I'm going to go with this size here. These two are a little bit longer. But um, I patterned it after this one here. This is a real artifact. This is one that I made. The, uh, there's a few things that are unusual. The uh, serrations are very distinctive. And I tried to imitate that over here. The, uh, the flint napping is a little crude. I'm not sure if this is an uncompleted point. To me it looks like it was complete, just broken after use. Um, my flint napping isn't as crude here. I used a pressure flaker and was very careful at, on this area. But this one, the, the real one, has a sort of uh, crude look to it. Anyway, I'm going to use the Skelhorn point. Uh, to me it's an overall very useful point. It, in my opinion you could use it for hunting or for war. There are other variations found in Texas um, that are similar to Skelhorn points. But I don't believe that these were used for hunting. I mean I considered using these for my arrow set. Uh, but they look a little bit too delicate to me for hunting, so I didn't choose any of these. Uh, I had made some other Skelhorn points previously, and um, I just like this material better, so I'm going to make my arrowheads, most of them out of this here. I have some of this material left. I'm not sure what it is, but it's, it's from Central Texas. And I just found it on a roadside, actually as a road fill for a dirt road. Uh, this was part of the road fill. There were other river stones and cobbles and stuff in there. Anyway, uh, I also considered using these types of arrowheads. Uh, this is a caracara used in South Texas. It also resembles a desert side notch or some of the California points. Uh, these are Harrell points. Uh, this is Elevate's chert. These are Washita points. Uh, this is Elevate's chert there also. I like these up here, and I think these were used for both hunting and for war. Uh, but I settled on the Skelhorn because it has a very wide distribution. And I'm going to try to make a set that I believe the Native Americans were making before the Europeans arrived. Uh, of course we don't have much information to go on except for the arrowheads. Um, but I'll try my best to come up with a set that uses local materials or substitute good substitutes for local materials. Uh, I'm going to show you a reference that I have a book by Noel Justice the distribution of the Scalorn point. I think we can see that. You can see it almost all of Texas, almost all of Oklahoma and other states in the Midwest. And um, the bow is going to be made from Osage or Bodark. And Osage, uh, the natural range is in this area here. Uh, East Texas and into Oklahoma. So it looks to me like Osage was probably traded in this area as well because uh, there are records of Apaches having Osage Orange and some of the northern plains. Uh, very rarely, but sometimes there's Osage up there too. Uh, there's a Cheyenne bow that I, I've seen in a book that's made of Osage. Um, but anyway, I can't go wrong with the uh, Scalorn, it's very well distributed. And the uh, Osage Orange is very nice to work with. I also have this book here that I use quite a bit, the uh, Overstreet Identification and Price Guide. And the 
scaling points in here are actual size. So this is how I determine what the length is. Since I only have the base on my artifact, in order to determine the size, I have to find one that closely matches and just go by that. I think uh, I'm, gonna, I'm pretty close to this size of an actual Skelorn point. Yeah. This book is very useful for me. And I recommend it for everyone who wants to make reproductions of arrowheads. Uh, I use several other books too, and I'll get into that a little bit later. I'll be making the entire arrow today. Uh, I have some materials already prepared, and um, I'll go through that process. I'll, I'll, I'll be using modern tools. Eventually, I will have videos on making arrows and bows and all that with uh, just abo tools, but this one will be using uh, modern tools. All right, I'm going to cut it short here and then explain the uh, assembly of the arrow in separate videos.